Hello there, Vanny Guy Addicts. This is Ken Wilford here for another episode of As the Battery Burns. And <laughs> what we're doing today is we are testing out our capacity of our lithium battery. Um, I could have did this a bunch of different ways, but I had this crazy idea to basically just hook the 12 volt refrigerator, the Dometic refrigerator, um, 12 volt hookup to the battery um, and see what happens. So before people get all panicked and everything, there is a fuse which is over there in that thing, okay? Uh, so don't get all hyper about that. But uh, what's happening here, we have our 12 volt power coming over and then I've actually just, you know, unplugged the 12 volt refrigerator power which was on this thing of the relay if you want to know about that it is actually this wire right here and now we're feeding our 12 volt um, refrigerator how you can tell that is happening is this light is on okay so we've got it set to battery deals I don't really think this does anything your temperature because basically it's just either on or it's not on Okay, so back there, if you've ever taken one of these refrigerators apart, uh, first of all, God bless you, my child. Okay, sign of the cross, because it's not for the faint of heart. But if you ever take one of these apart, you will notice there are these two things right back in the back here that come down next to what looks like a smokestack. Uh, and what they are is they are two heating elements that look pretty much identical except one of them is 110 and the other one is 12 volts and so when you plug in your fridge um, you will be on 110 you can you have to turn this switch to this location 110 and then that heating element turns on heats up the uh, refrigerant which actually cools the inside of the fridge and uh, the 110 part of it works great usually cools down really well um, the other element is 12 volts normally if you're sitting here uh, it's disabled because um, you don't want to run your main battery down you know originally all these Westies never had secondary batteries you don't want to run them down um, even if you're running a secondary battery most people do not try to run this because uh, I looked it up it is actually pulling seven amps of power okay so uh, you can do the math we have a a 50 amp hour battery here um, with our little probably not trustworthy meter on it <laughs> um, and it if we're doing seven amps per hour it's going to run the battery down in about 7.7 .7 something hours so I'm starting to clock guys um, I'm gonna sit here for seven hours hold my phone right at this meter and we will no I'm not doing that so sorry you got excited uh, <laughs> I'm going to start the clock I'm going to let this thing stay here for seven hours I'm gonna come back out and see what's going on and maybe I'll do a little video then and kind of see how the battery holds up I mean my main thing is drawing this battery down um, and then we are going to see how fast it can be recharged with the car with running the alternator and then we are also most likely going to try to also see how fast it can be recharged with the solar. Um, I mean, I have ideas about both of these, but I want to see how it actually works in real life. So that's basically what's happening. Um, right now, of course, we're not getting any solar charge whatsoever because we're back in February mode here. At Van again, we have very overcast clouds and it's trying to rain. So, you know, maybe we'll not get any sun for the next three or four days. So we'll probably do our car test tomorrow. And then uh, after that, we are going to do a solar test and see how that works out. That's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, we're still on our little learning thing with our lithium battery, our charger, all this good stuff. And I appreciate you guys coming along with us. Please like, subscribe, share. 
Um, and again, as always, uh, at the end of the video, you're going to see two links you can use to check out other videos and also purchase things from our web store because that is how you support us. So thank you guys for uh, being here today. Hope you get more smiles per gallon. We'll see you on the next video.